Springer. Here's your WadenaRadio.com forecast. Sunny today with a high near 83 degrees and a 5 to 15 mile an hour southwest wind that could gust the size 20. Tonight, partly cloudy skies and a low of 61. Wednesday, sunny, high near 86 degrees and a 15 mile an hour southwest wind could gust as high as 30. Wednesday night, cloudy, becoming clear with a low of 56. Thursday, sunny, high near 75 degrees. Classic country. You're listening to 92 KWA. What up, bud? Yeah. What up, bud? What up, bud? Oh. Sunflower crop looks promising but is shorter than normal due to drought conditions. The canola crop varies in staging from pod fill to flowering. Rain will continue to be welcome for the long season or late seeded crops. Are you interested in learning more about the topics, ideas, and individuals? Okay, so I made it was attached to that, so I'm gonna have to make that anchor. So I have that taken care of. Probably wonder what else I got. I'm in the store too. I bought some pliers. I can stay on my kayak. These are attached by some hair cord. So if I drop them, say drop them over, they're not gonna come off. They would be on the hair cord. Went to the store, recently bought some Raid Swimmers by Shrek King. So yeah, got some of that. I did get some line too. It was 8 pound for this because it's just a half pay pound. So I got some new line. I don't know what kind it was. I can go get it. So I got some new line too. I should have brought that stuff in so finish the video. This will be a vlog. I like the type. I just named it, but I wanted to put the title. But I wanted the title to be. At the same time, this is just a video that I'm just going to be fishing to work on. It seems shows I'm live. That's just the thumbnail, but I didn't cut the thumbnail. But this is from like. A channel that turns for gaming mostly. Gaming. But mostly, I don't do gaming videos on it. I will do some streaming, Fortnite streams, or I'll do some outdoor activity streams. So, like, oh, a channel, one channel for me, so I don't have to use like two different types of channels. So, yeah, I got this type of line. So, that's new. New. I bought these say, two today. Bought this one yesterday. Then I bought some. No, I didn't buy anything else besides two pliers. It comes with the spring. If you want any, yes, it does come with the spring. It's like that. It would stay closed. But these ones are springs. I just put that there. My shirt does not. It's not a fish on them, so I put this right here. Stop fishing. I have, besides raid swimmers, I have these paddle tails. Are these raid swimmer pad? Hold on. No, these aren't raid swimmers. 
I, I know what kind of brand this was. I got them in a basket like two or three years ago. I don't know these are saucy swimmers. There's a saucy swimmer. Don't want to try to shake it. I'm going to shake it right now. I feel it move. So they shake the bait and you feel it move. I was like that, I could feel it move. So this is just my bait compartment slash junk compartment actually. So yeah. I think I just strap a case on. But I think that knife can hold like that, bro. I just put the knife in there like that, pull it out when I need it, and pop it in there when I don't need it. So this is basically what baits I have. I was supposed to get new cracking cross. Trust me, but I was have my to do that tomorrow. I'll just do that tomorrow. I want to crack and cross. Because crack and cross. One, two. And in my whole bait, there's two crack and cross. Googan bait. I'll show you all my Googan bait products. Googan bait, Googan bait, Googan bait. These are the only three Googan bait baits I have that are baits. The other one is not even a Googan bait. It's more like a plat, it's more like a hook. Yeah, I have it in my box. By the way, this is up here. It's just for, like my light house. For I got a ring light. I I use a ring light for like when I'm camping, right? And I'm night fishing because I'll be going camping next week, guys. I just got a big old Bessie out today. We got this out like two days ago, but big Bessie. Taking this, this, and we have to take another real boat just for the boat. Bring a pontoon, kayaks, and the camper. I had to sleep in a tent. I'm a champ. I get to sleep in a tent. And they get to sleep in my parents and all the rest of them get to sleep in the camper. So it's my parents, my cousin, my two cousins and my sister, and my two grandparents. Oh, my two gra my grandma, my grandpa. Then my cousin, my cousin, my sister. Those are all five people sleep in the camper and one of them sleep in the tent. And that be me. I'm a king, bro. I am own practice, dude. I have to get, my grandpa get, and grandma get to sleep in that with a little window. Is we get this, they get to sleep in the front of the camper, the tail, the front, the bow of the camper. Like you sleep in the front of the camper and the back of the camper, the tail of the camper. Like my two cousins and my sister. For me, I get my own privacy, so I don't have to worry about changing all once. I don't have to worry about changing, taking turns changing. I can just change whatever I want. I can jump in the, my speedo. <laughs> No, I'm trying to make a joke. I can just jump in my my uh, swimming suit any time of the day. I could jump in my swimming suit like seven in the morning and there's no one even in there. In my camp, my tent. I can go over a gear tent. I was gonna go over the gear video. Okay, you, you wanna see all the rods we have too? We have all the rods plus all of those. My Epas, my Epas. My my one. I should have a two and I should have a dog. Here's okay, these work. I'm not this is mine. Maybe this one with the red is mine. We have my the rod. And we have in here we have two rods. You see you can't see them because they're broken. They don't they just bust. And we have ice fishing rods. Like this. Oh, you might see the folder. See that back of that is folder. Then we got ice fishing rods in the distance. Ice fishing, so all the ice fishing gears in here. This is this guy, by the way. I don't use purple. I don't even fish. Fish that. But that guy. Sorry, I just got from junk. I love it. I'll right, take this to it. Uh, that kayak is not up because you can't fish in that. My sister, can, you can fish in that. I can find ways to fish in anything. If I was in a floaty boat, I'd probably could fish in. If I was in a tube, I could fish on a raft, bro. I just need a paddle. 
I just need a raft and I can go fishing on a raft. I have fish up sand on boards, I can fish on. This is actually made for fishing. It's by Pelican Senel 100X Angler. But there's kind of a problem in this kayak itself for me. The seat, my back is bigger than the seat. And my feet, okay, my feet past the pegs. So I have to hang off, my feet have to hang in the front or off the boat. And that, that's just kind of annoying. And my seat is bigger than, my back is, my back is bigger than the seat. Okay, I, I gotta, I'm not, I was gonna tell you a story about the town of Warner, because that big man's me. One time I had to go pee, right? That's where I went. Because when you go in the kayak, you can't go pee anywhere. You can't even get off. You can just jump in the river and jump in the lake. And see, if you jump in the lake, most likely my boat will go like this. My boat will go like that, and it'll be sitting like that, and it'll just tip. So if you have to go back there, I'm just doing the seat, bro. Well, I recommend not to if you have padding seats. I have a padding seat, and that took me days to clean. It took me like one day to clean it out. The next day to wash it out. Well, the first day it took me to, oh, it was in there for like a day, two days. It had smelled for like two days. First, second day that it smelled, washed it out. Third day, and then all the way to the first day to clean all of it out, like empty every fishing thing I have in there. Even the back, the front, the middle. Even the front, the bow, the middle. And the tail all had to be clean. Right? Then right here had to be washed out because I pissed in my seat. That was annoying. That was annoying. Because I can't just backflip, magically spawn the river. Magically spawn if you're fishing in a river. I was fishing in a lake, so sorry. If I, I can't just magically spawn in the lake and then go back and spawn back in my kayak, I was already out in the spot where I'm fishing. Far away from the campsite, so far that I just had to go in my kayak. And that the night before that, I went out. Well, this is the second night of the second night of being there. Went out, smelled beer and so bad. That thing smelled the piss so bad that it just annoyed me. Cause I just forget I'm dumb done kayaking. Cause then. By the time I got, I was just smelling the urine all the whole way to the back to the campsite. I don't know. That annoyed me for real. Okay, you wanna go, we can go to the specs of the kayak so I don't bore you. But I'm gonna show you that. Yeah. Oh, we have water in here. Don't tell me that that hook dirty. Yes. bait. Guys, Googan bait uh, spinners. By the way, if you don't know how the spinner works, so you go fishing, right? Reel them. And this thing just spins. This thing just spins like that. You see me not use this a lot. Because when I'm fishing, when I'm kayaking, I don't really use this bait. I only have one whole, I only have one of these. Like, I only have one buzz bait in my whole life. I never had a buzz bait. And I got my first buzz bait like three years ago. No, I got a buzz bait like one or two, two years ago. Never used it because I couldn't find the same exact buzz bait. This one's my best buzz bait. I don't find it again unless so I go online to buy it. But that suck. I got it I got it out of the mystery kit. And this is just like my sort of range box, whatever. And every kayak needs a tackle box. Well, the tackle box I prefer for kayak guys. If you're trying to kayak fishing. And you don't know what tackle box to use. I have suggestions how to carry more and how to carry less. Well, I have suggestions of how to carry more tackle. Be fishing, even if you forget your fishing, even if you have one fishing tackle box for kayak and for boat, and you only have one tackle box in your whole life, and it's really small. And you, or you just say, if you forget that in your kayak when you go out boat fishing, that's why I recommend getting one of these, because I have, let's see what I have in here. I have baits in this one for trolling. My small baits in actually my small baits for that one. And I have 
uh, troll all the baits in here. Yeah, other smaller baits are trolling there, like sunfish baits for real. Um, a trolling hook, stuff to troll with. Shout out garbage in here, I gotta empty out. Got uh, my trolling hook, right? I know, in fact. Then we got all my hooks. I don't have jigs, but that don't have jig heads. All my bait hooks. I'd be a different size. So that's how you carry more than if you face some. Uh, that's, I recommend doing that. And if you don't have a life vest like that and you're kayaking, then this is how I'm coming. So I go over this too. My bait, you never see one single bait in here. That's said the baits on the hook. Like if you don't, there's no baits on the hook, I don't think in here. You just go find bobbers and bass fishing jigs and bass hooks. Multi-species hooks, actually, is what I should call it. You're gonna find multi-species stuff in here. You have a little bobber. This bobber is made for slip bobbing, or it's made for just putting on the slip bobber, and you got that, and it's like a bobber you can just tie up to the, or you can just hook up with the spring. This one is for the spring bobber. You can hook up the spring, the slip bobber without a spring. Yeah, normal circle bobber, round bobber. We got the little top bobber frog, the normal frog. So this one's normal. We got the um, bullfrog. Right here's the bullfrog. We have the looking Z viver looking thing. And we have the jerk bait. Yeah, my bass fishing jig that rattles. I have every time I video something, I always tell you about my story about fishing. Well, that's from like the new people. So I do a lot of the same videos just for like the new people that watch me. You know, there's no one, no one new ones that watch me. So this one is for. So I use this one. It's for bass, right? This one's the one of the bass jigs. See, it's a bass head jig. I caught an northern one of these and they snapped it, so I had to get one. That's just the end of the story, basically. Square bill, square, square bill tank bait. My spoon. I'll show you a bigger spoon some other time in a different video. Maybe this video. Bl Rapper blade. Not a little Z Viper looking thing. That's all I carry with me when I'm kayak fishing, because that's all you basically need. There's some stuff here and there. I recommend not to carry like the whole nine yards. So if you get like a tackle to last you two years, you're not gonna want two years worth of tackle in a little thing like this. This is the one I have. So yeah, and then my baits just my plastics just sit up up in here like the big plastic sit up in there with my. So I'm gonna actually put the plastic sense on my house. And I always carry a junk box. The reason why you want to carry a junk box is because when you take your, your so if you're fishing right and you have just, just junk that you don't even want on there so like i go fishing right and i have this bait so i take off a hook or i have found the hook laying around in my boat it's like i have sometimes i lay hooks in there so when I put hooks in there and I clean it out or something, I put the hooks in here, so I'm too lazy to put them back. But when I'm done, in case if I don't want to use it again, I don't have to reach back here just to get it. So that's why I was good to carry a junk box on you. So I always carry one of these junk boxes. So it doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter how big it is. If you have a big boat, get a big one. If you have a small boat, get a small one. You know the nine yard. You know the whole deal. Small stuff for small stuff. Big stuff and big stuff. You guys should know that by now. I think. I don't know. So what I do is I... Well, this is not ideal. I'm going to have to get something that size for a kayak. Well, yeah, if you have a bigger kayak, then I just well. Okay. But I have I made it right to the dog's kennel. Um... You have simple stuff like if I want to get a hook real fast, pop it off. If I just need to put a hook in there, slap it on. 
Uh, I carry two of these because I do get baits. Like small little caught up fish, what I would do. Otherwise, if you don't put up fish, you like to be a simple man. You can just put, well, I put one of these in here anyways. Because this is what I put my junk in. It's always good to carry survival line, or well, extra line. Because what I do sometimes, well, if you lose your paddle, way in the middle of nowhere. The middle of someone's yard or far away from the place that you're at. So that makes you carry a line and a flashlight in my kayak at all times. And yes, I do carry up my backup light. Probably mostly like, wait, you want you know, backup light? Yeah, I have a backup light. It's good to carry a backup light. I think it's personal if you want to carry, if you carry a backup light. It's not most likely. I carry extra fishing line, like ice fishing line. Some I don't use. Unless if I need it in an emergency. I have to carry it. So I'm gonna make a pocket, a pocket setup. I'm gonna make a little survival setup for my ideal need, necessary needs. So how you do that, basically you're just gonna wanna hit a box or a little bag. It don't really matter. But I know but I know what I would need. So, I'm more of a survival dude because I mostly like to hunt, I mostly like to fish, and I like to camp. But my camping necessities are why don't you just go out and survival camp? Or go out there and just do a trip more. Oh, survival stuff. I do that, but I know who else would. Because I need this for camping. This DS show. I bring my gaming setup. Little gaming setup camping. Play normal. I do need to have a little notebook. That's the ring light I'm talking about for camping. When I when I use for light systems. Yeah, I do have one of these crap on or some of the junk. This should be good for the rest of my junk. Oh, I just got this oh, rods there. Hey, Festus. Just put it in here's like flashlight. Line. There is a camping knife. I recommend bringing for one out there. Hard slab. Lighter. Stove. And there's two of the things I need. And I have a fork, slide wires. And then there's a lot of flies really good slide on my. I can find a slide on my. That's right in the bag. I yield the three good survival stuff. Uh, that we need and all the things. I'm running. Why do you need a big stuff? In case if you should add one, you float to one and pull there. So I have to survive the setup. I recommend having a survival out. Take a try out. So I was up, it's actually safer and I do. And instead of one you can strand it in the other five. So I just keep that. Yes, I keep that in the back of my kayak at all costs. Even if I'm not even going kayaking, I still keep it back there so I don't use it.
Oh, and there's a strap on there. So I have to do stuff. So yeah, pop that right there and it works. Like that. And if you have a glass box, that right here. I do need a cutting board, so this block's gonna have to go. See, I got a cutting board. Let's cut up my uh, fish on or my bait on. That always stays back there. So you never know when you need a cutting board. This is my anchor rope. Out of there, this is my anchor now. I'm anchored. Um, I usually keep my extra Ooh, extra turtle per mouse and stuff somewhere. It's ideal to have extra. But you're most likely to have girl per mouse and all that. So it's always good to keep it somewhere in your boats. So most likely you know her up front. Yeah, I can I can her up front. So you got that up front. I always have a rope or one to tie off the to tie on my car, I think. This one should start off. Put that up front. Put it like put it right around. Post and put it right there. Maybe. So I can just take my strap. Strip the tackle in front. And make it more. Just be able to reach it.
Will that fall off like that? What? Do I need to put them on so I can reach them? As long as it's hooked to your laser. It's up to this strap. Okay. Do you have, uh, do you have, like, any strap, like, rope? Like, that strap that's on the camper. Like your little bungees, do you have any cut up officer bungee? Like not these type, like your rope stuff? I don't. Like the things out like that? Oh, you have to buy them. You know what I'm talking about? Zachary, you know what I got. You know what I'm talking about? Your old, your old thing you see what's on that screen door? The uh, handle on the screen door that you used to have? Do you need more of that stuff? Nice. Do you have any wire I can put, a, put my flame knife on? So if I need to put it, it's going to come up. No, you're going to shore and do it. I don't need to have a torque. I'm going to sit out there for as long as I can. No, you can do that. You can. I found this board. I found that cutting board for me. I need to keep your uh, keep the uh, flame knife on there. And the way to keep my knife in place.
Yeah, I extra pleaded.